Right now, Hollywood seems unwilling to take a risk on any big budget project unless it wears a cape or was born out of the pages of a young adult novel. But Warner Brothers is breaking that mold. There's been buzz for a while now that the studio was looking to adopt Stephen King's post-apocalyptic novel The Stand into a feature film. But when writer and director Josh Boone handed over a script for the film and requested a budget of $87 million, he received a better reaction than he was hoping for. He told Kevin Smith on his Hollywood Babylon podcast. So they came back and they said, would you do it as multiple films? And I said, Yes. Yeah. I was, like, and I loved my script and I was willing to drop it like an instant because it, I was like, you could do an even truer version that way. Right. So I think we're going to do like four movies. Wow. Uh, so Warner Brothers isn't just aiming to make this movie happen, but turn it into a big budget epic and possibly with an A-list cast. It's rumored Matthew McConaughey is being sought after for the villain in the film. But even if he does not end up being cast, IndieWire points out the studio's interest in McConaughey shows the caliber of actor the studio is looking for for the film. It should be noted this isn't the first screen adaptation of what is arguably King's most celebrated novel. It was made into a miniseries in 1994, but that got a so-so response. However, King himself seems pretty happy with the script for the upcoming film and having Boone at the helm as well. He told MTV, He's hugely ambitious and hugely energetic, so we'll see what happens. But while outlets such as Deadline praise Warner Brothers for its creative ambition for bringing a fully fleshed out version of King's novel to the silver screen, a writer at Screen Crush isn't convinced it needs to be a four film series, saying, I wonder how much of our current franchise culture had to do with the WB's decision to split up the narrative into four films instead of a reasonable two. It has become a trend in Hollywood to draw out proven money makers into multiple films. It started with the last two Harry Potter movies and continued into franchises like The Hobbits and The Hunger Games. It's a strategy that is starting to seem less about adding value to a film and more about selling movie tickets. In the Hollywood Babylon podcast, Boone says he hopes to begin filming the project as early as next spring. For Newsy, I'm Madison Burke.